Good evening. Good evening once again. Okay. Let us continue with one more example on center of mass. Okay. It appears to you that uh, a similar problem has already been done in the center of mass in explosions previously. But this problem is a bit uh, distinct as compared to the rest of them. I'll tell you where the student has made a mistake. So the problem reads like this. Pull this. Yes. Okay. A gun is mounted on a railroad car. So you have a cart. Excuse me. You have a cart. You have a chassis like this. The mass of the car is the mass of the car. The gun and the shells and the operator. So there is an operator sitting here. There's a gun here. There's a gun here. Okay. Then uh, there are some shells. Inside it, there are some shells. Okay. Now together, all of them, the mass totally is seen to be 50 m. Okay. Let, me, let me join this. So there's a person sitting here. There's a person sitting here. Okay. So totally it is 50 m. The m is the mass of one shell. If the muscle velocity of these shells is 200 meter per second, the moment uh, the operator hits it, then immediately uh, all the surface of friction are uh, frictionless. Okay. So the moment you hit it across, then what can happen is the the muscle will now, well, the shell will now go like this. M is like this. And then uh, by recoiling, this will go backwards. Okay. What is the recoil speed of the car after the second shot? First shot, it's fine. Second shot. What do you mean by second shot? That means first time you shoot it, the vehicle is now moving backwards. Second time, as the vehicle is moving backwards, you are again shooting it. Okay. So that means still the speed of the vehicle increases. So this is the question. Okay. So many of them, they don't read in between lines here. They consider anyway, first time, whatever is the speed it goes, second time also it goes the same. Thing. So there's a reading problem or understanding problem. Now, what the student has done is a very interesting misconception. Okay. Looks like it's very similar, but there's a small distinction here. What he has done is applying CYM. What is CYM? Conservation of momentum. Okay. He has applied this. What does it tell you? It tells me Momentum before explosion is equal to momentum after explosion. Very simple. Now, what is the momentum before explosion? Momentum before explosion is nothing but uh, the car, the mass, everything is at rest. So, therefore, it is uh, V is equal to 0. And hence, momentum before it is nothing but 50 M multiplied by 0. Momentum after explosion. What is momentum after explosion? Now, 50 M into 0, this should now be equal to, uh, this muscle is now going like this. So this should be m into v. What is v here? It also says, already says 200. It should be m into 200 minus. Why minus? Because it should go in like this. Okay. If you don't want that, then I can have it like plus over here. And whatever is the mass left out, which is 48m, 48m, sorry, 49m, 49m multiplied by the velocity, recoil velocity. This is what I should get. So I should now be getting that v is equal to minus 200 by 49. That's what I should get. But what this guy had done is, he had thought when the explosion happens, the total mass was 50 m. Okay. And he did not apply this. He did not apply this. And suddenly what he did was, he just thought, okay, so it is going like this. Let me put a velocity v1. Meter. And uh, he just substituted this 50 m v1 is equal to so much. And this he got 4 meter per second for the first shell. Then the second shell also moves at the speed of 200 meters per second. It means now we has, we has already, he has already got the velocity of this one, v1 equal to 4 meters. Then when the second shell is going out, then he applies this one here. So it is something like, we call this a double dipping. Okay, which means you make a mistake in the first step. Then the second step, you continue with the same mistake. Second step, once again, you see, he has applied 49m into 4 plus v2. 49m into 4 plus v2 should be equal to m into 2. So finally, he arrives at an equation like this, which is completely incorrect. This is a misconception. So why does this misconception arise? The reason is because people don't understand the difference between center of mass and the conservation of momentum principle. 
they get confused with one with other okay now now how do we use center of mass here i always tell to people that if you are referring to center of mass it will be much more easier okay when in case of explosions do not use this conservation of momentum principle sometimes you make a mistake if you are well versed it's okay you can continue now let us see how do i apply center of mass in this so you have the entire gun over here the moment it goes over here this goes backwards now the explosion happens because of the internal forces so your center of mass remains a constant right this the velocity in this direction is positive v1 in this direction is minus v2 right so we have got because i assume this is my origin thus what do i have here i can now write center of mass is not changing thus i can now write m m times v1 m times v1 minus 49 times m into v2 divided by m plus 49 m should be equal to zero why zero because this is your center of mass coordinate which is zero which i kept it at the origin so or in other words i can easily write v2 should be equal to this m and m goes away this m plus 49 on the other side when it goes becomes zero so this should be equal to v1 divided by 49 which should be 200 by 49 right so we have got an expression say so without confusion you are doing it here okay it's always advisable to do with the center of mass in explosions as compared to the conservation of momentum i don't know why okay i feel it more easier and more accurate as compared to working with the conservation of momentum sometimes there are students who make this kinds of mistakes and i have seen this mistakes at least in something like 50 to 60% of the papers they make this mistakes suddenly and later on in the oh my god i understood this principle but i made a mistake okay and secondly the same mistake gets carried off the entire answer goes on so be careful now now let us solve this problem so therefore now the vehicle along with the along with the gun along with the rifle is now moving backwards with a speed of 200 divided by 49 okay so this is your speed now once again it is applied center of mass now the second muscle second shell is been loaded now this is the mass this moves at 200 so once again center of mass is conserved now what happens over here we can see that this is already moving at this velocity backwards okay so 200 divided by 49 into uh, what is this net mass over here 48 m 48 m plus v2 plus v2 should now be equal to what is v2 because this muzzle was uh, this this shell was uh, fired this started with a new velocity okay already this was moving then an additional velocity v2 was added v2 should now be equal to m times what is this m m multiplied by 200 right so now what happens once again now you see this what is this 200 over here 200 by 14 this is negative here why negative because it's going backwards so got it so now so as a result of this uh, this m and m goes away and now uh, what are we, what are we left out with i can now write minus 200 by 49 plus v2 should now be equal to 200 divided by 48 in other words v2 should now be equal to 200 into 1 by 48 plus 1 by 48 this should be your answer okay not this so these are some of the conceptual mistakes which arises because of a slight variation that we do okay in solving the problems otherwise i can say yes perfectly understood okay there are some students who don't understand this okay that we can't help okay but they have to start from the very beginning but yes perfectly understood everything but unfortunately while applying the principle he made a small mistake that gave rise to lots of drastic consequences okay so fine then so let me stop for today and in the next video let us see um, i think how many we have seen we have seen so far 10 videos i think on this in the next video let us explore uh, i think one more on center of mass i haven't got any mails regarding what kind of problems would you like to solve so if i get it then definitely let me continue so i am planning to start with uh, i think gravitation could be fine we haven't explored anything on gravitation i think escape velocity orbital velocities and so on so if i get anything in between so definitely we will begin with okay thank you friends for watching this video like share and subscribe to my channel for further updates thank you